on to question number three and by the way there is a choice between three and four both of these problems are from the chapter orthographic projections uh question number four is a special case that is sectional orthographic wherein we cut the object and then make the projections okay right now let's focus on question three and here we need to make the front top right hand side view and also provide the dimensions and please note consider a diameter 36 hole is throughout the object this diameter this hole is throughout the object that means this distance is uh, the cylindrical tube is having a height of 40 along with that this is having plate is having a thickness of 15 so 40 plus 15 will make it 55 okay so the overall depth of the hole you can say is 55 right throughout the object please remember i think we should go ahead and let us analyze this object and first of all we need to work out what are going to be the maximum dimensions the maximum length width and height and based on this we are going to make our boxes for front top and side views take a look this is the direction x this is the default setting for the front view so when you take a look at this from the front here it is okay you are going to see the maximum length as 100 the maximum height is going to be please check top to bottom of the cylindrical tube this is 40 then this plate thickness is 15 forget about the plate thickness this is where the plate starts from here to this center 45 and then this is a radius actually okay of a small arc so this radius happens to be 25 so 25 plus 45 will make it 70 70 plus this 40 will make it 110 so the overall length is 100 the height is 110 and the width is 90 here we go let me start by making the boxes for a front view and top view this is where we are going to make the front view that's our location for top view in front view you know very well this is the length this is the height 110 secondly this is the length again 100 and this is the width that is 90 all the dimensions have been given if you want you can take a screenshot of this first thing is over secondly we can connect these front and top views and now let me produce lines from the top view towards the left hand side rotate them by an angle of 45 degrees sir and then produce them in the upward direction produce lines through these points towards the left hand side so that you have a box which is meant for right hand side view by the way this is for the front view this is for the right hand side view and this is for the left no top view right hand side and the front view done okay having worked out the dimensions of all the boxes now we shall go ahead and find this center's location if you watch right now we are interested in creating the top view in the top you are going to see the center this center is a center for the circles there are going to be three concentric circles let me tell you as well as the center for the rectangle also so half the dimensions 50 and this is 45 half of 100 50 half of 90 45 here we go tons of okay secondly if you watch this is what you will see from the top this edge yes sir we can see this edge and we are going to make this edge dark okay how the projections look finally we'll see that in the final slide don't worry secondly as far as these circles are concerned okay a smaller one is having a diameter of 36 the larger one is having a diameter of 72 36 and 72 diameters so in terms of diameters it's 36 but this in terms of radius is going to be 18 and this in terms of radius is going to be 36 okay half of 36 is 18 half of 72 is 36 i hope you can understand this easily secondly students if you take a look this portion won't be visible from the top because this profile comes in between so it's a hidden feature therefore we are going to represent this arc or this circular portion with the help of it dashed lines now this is having a radius of 30 so again with this as center make a circle of this sort okay this radius is going to be p0 done all right what's left sir uh one thing is left there is a hidden edge which one here it is throughout the object throughout the this this width 90 millimeters 
सो ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम हियर ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स अगेन फ्रॉम हियर ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर्स दीज आर द टू हिडन एजेस रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय डैश लाइट्स टॉप यूज ओवर नाउ व्हाट शैल वी डू वी शैल गो फॉर द फ्रंट व्यू नाउ ये वी गो आई एम गोइंग टू बी मेक सम रेफरेंस लाइंस ओके एंड दिस सेंटर लाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी इट इज फ्रॉम दिस लोकेशन दैट वी आर वॉचिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ ऑब्जर्विंग इट हाउ डू वी गो अबाउट आर टास्क सो दिस दिस स्ट्रिप ओवर हियर टेन एम एम थिक स्ट्रिप वुड लुक लाइक अ रेक्टैंगल ओके दिस ओवरऑल लेंथ इज सेवेंटी टू सो दिस ओवरऑल लेंथ इज गोइंग टू बी सेवेंटी टू देन दिस थिकनेस हैज बिन गिवन एज टेन मिलीमीटर्स तो दिस थिकनेस इज टेन मिलीमीटर्स एंड यू कैन मेक दिस रेक्टैंगल वेरी इजी सो फार सो गुड राइट दिस एक्चुअली लुक्स लाइक अ सिलेंड्रिकल ट्यूब ओके देर आर टू सिलेंड्रिकल ट्यूब स्टैक्ड वन ओवर दी अदर right with inner and outer diameters um the second tube that i am going to create is this one right so uh, this this is having a height of this total height is let me just zoom into it right now we made this right now we made this this is having a radius of 30 but how much is this height so 40 minus 10 will give you 30 this way okay this way this distance is 30 please note and this distance is 10 right if you watch we have made the front view of this cylindrical tube can you match the lines i'm sure you can done sir okay and before this what we made was this one i hope you are now able to relate which circle for which tube done sir and finally we know very well and it has been mentioned in the question that this 36 mm this 36 mm diameter hole is throughout the object cut throughout the object that means this distance is 40 40 plus 15 is 55 so here this in totality is 40 and this is going to be 15 so that is how you do it and uh, yeah let's go for it this is having 36 mm diameter so this is it can you match can you match done this is 15 mm and now sir we are looking at the front view and uh, this is basically what we'll see this is what we will see 100 by 15 so this is 15 by the way and that's 100 for you done any other thing left sir these two points these two points right these are the lines which we will see from the front these are the lines so make these lines and outline outline done so the front view is done now let's go for the top uh, right hand side view for that we are going to take a look at the object from over here right hand side what to do now let me make a reference line okay and uh, can you see this center point how high is this center point from the bottom sir it is at a height of 25 so please make this plus sign right <laughs> why a center line because this i mean this is for a center and the center is meant for an arc right where is that arc we are going to work it out if you watch carefully some students may be confused that sir uh, it looks like this is a semicircle no this is not a semicircle the arc starts somewhere here and ends over here rather it looks as if this arc or if you if you just want to make a circle hmm, just think about an imaginary circle this circle will have tangents through these two points okay and we are going to do it in that fashion so the radius is 25 can you make this uh uh and just a second we are going to make that circular profile later this from the front and when you take a look at this from the right hand side you are going to see the, the same profile okay so the steps which we did in the front view have to be repeated over here then this tube yeah then this this hidden portion 
throughout the object here done as far as the right hand side view is concerned this is what you will see so make it done and now as far as the circular profile is concerned using this as the center make a circle of radius 25 done sir and from these two points don't make lines like this rather make lines in such a way that it becomes tangent and from here also tangent okay this way and now brilliantly darken this portion again use a compass okay so the diagram is done it is done that's front view that's the top view that's the right hand side view and uh, your construction work your dimensioning should look something like this this is done okay uh, i have kept the font of the dimensions a, a, a bit larger so that you guys can visualize it properly the dimensions are not usually this big right so yes this problem is now done in about 11 minutes okay thank you